Welcome to the creative communities of the Tees Valley. In this virtual world, the Tees Valley communities are joined together in ways that don't exist in real life. In each of these spaces, you will find creative content from the communities. We begin our journey in Southbank Youth Centre. In here, we can see the Smith Stock Roll of Honour, sent to us from an expat in Australia. Ken Wallam came in to have a look at this book and found his father's name. The Roll of Honour was a, a list of names uh, put in this Book of Honour which was produced in 1917 for the visit of King George V and Queen Mary when they visited the shipyards of Smithstock in Southbank and in South Shields. Uh, I can recall my father, I was only seven when he died, but I can still recall him and events that took place in that time and I felt very honoured to be involved in this uh, business. Thank you very much. And now we travel down a virtual tunnel towards Nathormsby. Along the way, we will see examples of scanner art from various Tees Valley communities. These images are made using an ordinary scanner. Welcome to North Ormsby, popularly known as Doggy. We are standing outside North Ormsby's Holy Trinity Parish Church, which is a landmark for the whole area and can be seen for many miles around. Let's go inside to see what we can see. We had an open day in the, in the Ormsby Community Centre in which we had an, a small antiques roadshow where someone was valuing gifts and presents and things were brought in children were carol singing and I brought in an old vase a biscuit barrel I should say and it was uh, valued at 50 pounds it was a very successful day and it brought the people of Nathansby together and it was like we we're going to see if it can be done again we are in Grangetown Millennium Green. The real one has not been built yet and we have some work to do on this virtual one. We are planning to add some examples of digital art on the horizon. In the distance you can see the Tom Leonard Mining Museum where we are heading now. And there's the transporter bridge waiting to take us to our final destination. I moved into Skinning Grove two years ago and in those two years it's completely changed. The Skinning Grove that I moved into has become something completely different, um, mostly due to the two floods that happened last year. In, I found myself getting involved in the local community through the Link Up group and primarily through um, looking after the Skinning Grove story, the village newsletter, yeah. which uh, started as a single sheet uh, a single A4 and uh, the last edition was um, six sides, I think, and... Skinning Grove story was sealed in stone millions of years ago <laughs> when the mm -hmm. ironstone rocks were laid down. And everything else has just been a consequence of that, really. And we're just people sitting on this problem created. It was all dug out and then the mines left and just packed up bags and just left everything. 
more or less without clearing up after themselves and, and a little community with um, not so much to do when they left it. So it's just been the story like that and it's of course the story of Teesside as well. All aboard the famous transporter bridge. Of course the real bridge does not span Grangetown, but this virtual bridge will symbolically take us north, across the river to Hartlepool. Our journey also represents a bridge to the future. Technology has changed and a steel-based economy has been replaced by a rapidly emerging information technological age. We in Hartlepool have crossed the millennium and embraced the potential of the internet and a knowledge-based economy. and welcome to my garden. This garden was set out as somewhere where I could find peace to do me thinking and above all to tidy the garden up. I looked at the computer and I thought and they just said pick a hobby and I thought my garden. I just finished doing the garden and I thought I'm proud of it and if it's good enough for me it'll be good enough for everybody else. And um, I said to Steve, I'll give you five minutes, because then it's just technical. I thought, I haven't got a chance, I haven't got a clue, I don't know what he's talking about. But it was good, it was fun. And I just sat, took a big deep breath and thought, listen and learn. And it was good. Took some photos, and then the photos went onto the screen, and then that really kicked me. I thought, yeah, this is my garden. And I just done my own labelling and done a bit of writing. And it was good, it was fun. The confidence was grown as the time was gone, if you know what I mean. He looks out from the kitchen window at the rain travelling down. He likes the freshness, the feeling that it's going to be cleaner, that somehow there is a heaven raining tears on him, making his life better, letting him feel and forgetting the dull ache of failure. He can't bear to think about it. He likes this newness running down on him and his garden which gasps with joy. <laughs> 